hello all we'll talk about the single ended and differential uh, signaling differences so the first thing basically differential signaling requires complex driver and uh, receiver mechanisms that's the biggest disadvantage of it and definitely the cost associated with the differential signaling is higher compared to the single ended signaling and one more thing is differential signaling requires proper coupling between uh, the positive and the negative signal and um, definitely the routing is critical because both of them should be length matched whereas if we don't see any concerns with the single ended right as long as you have a proper ground plane underneath along the trace you should not worry correct unless you have a strict length matching and if you are driving something with respect to a clock in a high speed signal then we must be worried right and then differential signaling one important advantage is that you can route the signals over a long distance uh, without having noise uh, impacting whereas single ended can have noise easily impacting it that means uh, single ended signals are more susceptible to noise than differential signals okay and then another important point is uh, um, the voltage levels of single ended signals are more than uh, differential signals so the, the biggest advantage is that you have a higher noise margin there okay and then single ended operates at lower frequencies than differential signal again it's a disadvantage right so there is a trade off here where if you want to choose between single ended and differential signaling uh, you have to see various parameters that we have talked and come to a conclusion so a very important topic in high speed designs right